some I'm going live on my page and I got to share it. Let me see. Okay, so I don't have to do anything because I don't even know how to go. No, live. You, don't, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah, I got to do it from um from my page. Then I'm going to share it. Oh, where else? Get these. Let me see here. Because it won't bring me um, the pro the regular profit room. Okay, whatever you need to do. I promise you this. I feel like this is the least that I could do because, like I said, this has really changed my life and it's changing my children's life. You're on a page you manage. Okay. All right, I could do it from there, but can you share it or once I get on? What do you want me to share it? I mean, I don't even know what do I press. All right, let me do. No, no, I, no, no, I can do it. I can do. It. I'm, I'm gonna do everything. I'm just trying to uh, uh, get it together myself. It says recording on my end. Yeah, but I'm, I'm doing everything on my end. I can't see you now. I'm just doing it right now. I'm preparing everything. Okay. So you don't have to do anything. Um, it's just everything's just loading right now. So I'll let you know when I start talking. I introduce you and all of that. It'll um pop up. All right, here we go. Mastermind student interview. All right, so I'll let you know when we go live. Should be in a second. Hello and welcome to theprofitroom.com. My name is Ernest and I have one of our mastermind students here, Elizabeth. And yeah. what we're going to do this evening, we're going to uh, interview uh, Elizabeth and she's going to talk about her experience that she has with the Profit Room, um, some of the, her trading uh her, during her trading journey, she's going to talk about the skills that she possess and just go into deepness about uh, just trading in general, what it has done for her, um, how she has enjoyed it, uh, any obstacles uh, she may have had and things of that nature. And um, I really want to do this because a lot of people, especially in this type of uh, market that we are in, uh, they think it's kind of difficult to trade in the market. And I just want to make sure a couple of people are able to actually um, hear about experience of other people. I know La Latoya and I, we post a lot of uh, live trades. They see a lot of the stuff uh, that we actually do. But it's always good to see somebody that's on their own that's doing it without assistance after they received education after they on their own put in the hard work and the time to really figure this out on their own so i'd like to welcome you again elizabeth can you just tell us a little bit about yourself okay you can hear me okay yeah we can hear you perfectly fine okay all right my name is elizabeth collie mickens i live in florida i'm actually a nurse practitioner um 
I'm planning on retiring in a few years, and that's why I decided to seek out trading a couple of years ago. I started actually in 2016. I purchased a lot of programs. I really didn't do anything with the pro first program that I purchased. Mm -hmm. um, and then I thought, because I was still working full time at the time, and then in 2017, I went part time towards the end of that year. And I said, well, maybe I'll start to try to do this trading because I want this to be my income for life. Like, I don't want to, when I retire, have to go to a certain income. I want to live the same lifestyle that I lived as a nurse practitioner. So I needed to make six figures. So I'm like, okay, how can I do this? I'm not going to be old enough for Social Security, so I'm going to have to actually- So you, 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 needed, to make, you needed to make six figures. <laughs> I needed to make six figures and not just the hundred thousand. Okay. <laughs> exactly. I got you. I got you. So what I decided to do was, you know, I was seeing all these things about these people making money in the stock market. And then I looked at my 401k and I was like, well, I don't have any control over my money. So that kind of made me a mm. little bit upset because I mean, I've been in a 401k for almost 30 years and I'm like, these other people have been trading my money and I didn't really see where they were doing that great of a job. So I saw a couple of programs just to see how can I learn to trade my own money. Well, then I found out, well, you can't work for us and get access to your 401k. So then I thought, well, let me talk to my husband because I need to quit. I want my money. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, wow. in June of 2017, I quit my full-time job so I could have access to my 401k. So I left the money in place and whatever they had it what funds or whatever it was in for a little bit. And then I eventually rolled it over into a um, IRA so I could control it myself. And I didn't do anything with it for a couple of months um, because I wanted to study the stock market. I needed to learn how to trade and what all these numbers meant and these charts because I'm a nurse. I've never really, I'm not from a financial background at all. Um, mm -hmm. so it was all new to me. It was kind of scary at first because I was like, wow, this is my whole life savings. If I do the wrong thing, I can lose all my money. So I said, well, let me do. So I put it all in cash and said, I'm going to study. I'm going to read. So it, I went to the library. I did YouTube University. I did all these things and I still didn't quite understand it. And I was purchasing multiple programs from people online and Facebook and all over the place you know, telling me that they could tell me how to trade and make my money account grow and trade options. And I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? So like <laughs> I said, I did purchase several programs and none of them was really working to my benefit. I did learn options from several programs and I was successful with options. However, that I, I didn't want that kind of, I didn't want to do options forever. I needed to know everything. I'm a bookworm. So I'm the type of person like I needed to know every different strategy that there is in order to trade. Not that I'm going to use them all, but when you have different type of markets, you have to do different things. So I wanted to have those strategies in my toolbox just in case if the market crashes, well, what am I going to do? If I only know how to buy stocks, then I had never heard of shorting stocks prior to that. So I didn't know that I could make money when the stock market was going down. So over the course, I did. I saw that I could make more, I could make money when the stock market was going up, down, great covered calls when it's going sideways, <laughs> you know, just to, uh -huh. you know, so I learned all yeah. these different strategies and then I ended up, um, it was a group on Facebook, I guess it was Wakanda at the point and now it's Coinda. Yeah, well, well Coinda, oh, now it's called Coinda now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw one of your, your, either you or Latoya, I saw one of your videos in there and I thought, hmm you know, I really need to get me a mentor. Okay. So mm -hmm. I thought, let me, let me see. Cause I still wasn't pulling everything together. Like I, I heard about all these strategies, but I was still a little bit afraid to actually put them in effect. And even after I purchased your program, it took me maybe, I think I got the program in June or July of 2018. I didn't go live mm -hmm. until January of 2019. I went mm -hmm. live January the 20th of this year. Yeah. I remember you came in the room yeah so at first i was just paper trading i was still just going over the program you know doing my homework taking the one-on-one -on -one calls with you guys and and just seeing how things would work in a 
a simulated account. That's what I did at first. And I did that for probably about four or five months before I actually went live. My New Year's resolution was to go live. So, so let me I ask you that. Let me ask you that real question. So you already had your why from the beginning. You know what you wanted to do. So what from the other classes that you have taken or courses, because you signed up to our mastermind program. So for many people who don't know, our mastermind program that we have is more of an in-depth one-on-one. -on -one. This program is for those individuals who want to know everything about the stock market. I mean, that's everything. Whatever we have and know and whatever is new, we just always update and we help out directly. It's, it's an amazing program. Even though we don't advertise as much, we do have it. So what did you see that was much different from the other programs that you had? Well, actually, when I first signed up with you guys, I think it was around 4th of July or something, I did the swing trading. However, when I, when I did the swing trading, I was like, well, this is a lot that I've already read about and I can already do. I need to know how, really, I was trying to get to the point of no, I didn't know the terminology for shorting at the time, but mm -hmm. that's what I wanted to learn how to do. Because I didn't know how to make money when the market was going down. All I could do was move into cash. And I was like, well, Correct. I want to make money, not just say cash. <laughs> so that's why I joined the mastermind class. And I, because I signed up for the first one. And then a, a week or so later, after I went in, I was like, no, this isn't what I want. I need to know everything. And so. I need, <laughs> yeah. And I remember you told me that. You said, I want to know everything. Everything you know, I want to know. Yeah. So then I did the mastermind and started doing the homework. I, I love the charts. I mean, my husband's so sick of these charts. It's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> but today he liked it. My $2,500 that I made, he wanted half. And I was like, no. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. When the money starts but, coming in. Yeah. When the, and at first I was losing money. I was making mistakes because even though I had been in the simulated account, it just still, it's very, it's very emotional. You get very nervous. Um, so that's why I would mm -hmm. say what I got out of this program that I didn't have from the other programs was the one-on-one. -on -one. Like you really have to have a mentor. You have to have somebody to help calm your nerves and say, okay, this is normal. This is what happened. Yeah. The market's doing this. This is how we usually react to it. And just hearing that helped calm my nerves and kept me encouraged enough to keep going. To say, okay, I'm not going to just forget it because I just, and I didn't want to just blow up my account. So what I do now is I have separate accounts yeah. and separate things. I separate everything. I day trade in one. I do options in one. And then I have my IRA that I don't trade that every day or anything. I just trade it every couple of months. I'll put some options in there, but right. I don't do it that often. Um, cause that's kind of my long-term legacy account for my children, but my, um, so, yeah. my accounts that yeah, I, so let's talk about that. What? My legacy? How has, you know, how has this trading, the education and stuff changed your life, your situation? Oh, it's changed my, <laughs> well now I, I still work, but I only work two days a week. And guess what? I told my, the group that I work for, I won't be to work until one o'clock every day. Cause I trade every morning. And if you can't mm. allow that, then I can't work for you. <laughs> I was literally exactly. to quit when I found out how lucrative this market is. And I don't have to go out every day and deal with people and their attitudes when I don't want to. So now I really just, I mean, I enjoy my job. I've been in this career since 1997. Yeah, exactly. So I throw away. But at the same time, now I know I, I know better so I can do better. Like I don't have to accept somebody telling me I gotta be there at 7 30 in the morning. I just told them point mm. point blank. I'm not gonna be there. I'll be there around 12 30, 1 o'clock. And I do that two days a week and I go in at that time and they have no problem. You know, but, I think that's that that's the hardest thing when you start developing into a trader and, and making those consistent profits. If you have a good job or career. It's like you see what you can make in the least amount of time, but at the same time, you still want to hold on to the career. And that's what happened with me. I know the same thing with Latoya. It's like, do you leave a good career to go trading? But then you look at the amount like, all right, so 
How much did you make this week, day trading? Uh, 6,200, a little bit over. Um, yeah, about six, I'll just say 6,000. $6,000. $6, now, how many hours a day? How many hours a day did that take you? Um, I didn't trade at all on Monday, so I made that in four days. Um, Monday, I didn't trade. Tuesday, I was done trading by maybe about 1040. Um, Wednesday, by 11 o'clock. Thursday, mm -hmm. by 11 o'clock. Today, I did my last trade at 1120. And see, so now let me ask you, I'm going to ask you a real serious question. Did you think that was possible before you took no. the course? <laughs> No. <laughs> exactly. So I'm going to give you a prime example, right? So when Latoya and I make those videos, we made 1,200, 1,500, 3,000. And that's why we stopped doing a lot of the equities videos sometimes because people was like, oh, nah, you're not doing that. You can't make that. You know what I mean? Oh, it's and so I'm possible. glad. It's so possible. It's, it's, and you know what? The big part of it is being disciplined. Because this exactly. program taught me more discipline than anything else because I wasn't very disciplined. I was just all over the place. And because I do have a, a source of income where I can use my husband's funds, I could say, oh, well, if I lose money, it's no big deal. But then this course taught me risk management mm -hmm. and how to make sure that I'm utilizing my stops appropriately so I'm saving my capital like so I can trade another day. So now exactly. I don't work I'm not going to say I don't lose money because some trades pop against you very quickly. Um, so you do lose some money, but every day, I mean, I'm consistent now. Now, in this week, the trading room was closed. So I made all this yep. money not even trading with you guys. So now I know I consistently trade. Exactly. I and that's the, that's the whole goal. Yeah. And know. that's the whole goal. Now, do you feel throughout the course of the pro process, right? is very strategic. So now, do you think is extremely hard or what, what do you think in order to be a successful trader, especially starting out? Because we do get students and people who start and uh, they want that trading success. From your example and from your experience, like the, the term shorting, now you know how to make money when the stock market falls, like, a lot of people are losing money in this market, but it's so volatile. We are making amazing profits instead of sitting on the back line, back end. But what would you tell, what, what is needed for the average person Technical in order to analysis. learn how to do this? Like they have to wait for the setup. You have to be disciplined. Wait for your setup. When you see your setup, you enter using risk management. So you gotta look at the charts. You gotta read the candles. They, they tell your story. You know, and that part I really didn't understand until I started with the program. Like when the tails are there, what is that telling you? If it keep bouncing and rejecting, you can either take profit or you can try to see if it's going to break on down. I got exactly. to the point where I started taking profit because I used to try to hold it and then it turns against me, you know? So Correct. reading the charts, when the, when the market's giving you that tail or that story, knowing when to identify it and either you reverse and ride it back up or you just take your profits and you're done with the trade what whatever you know but you have your stops in place to protect you so the main thing that it taught me and the main thing anybody needs to do if they want to become a trader whether they're a day trader or a swing trader or whatever they have to learn those candlesticks and what the candles are telling mm -hmm. them they have to look for the patterns which latoya is very good with that you know i watch her video multiple times just to See if I could identify flags. And then every day after the market closes, I screenshot not only my profits, but I also screenshot the charts that I entered on. I go through, mm. I print them out, I do my entry, my exit, what I could have done better. Why did I get out when I could have wrote it down a little bit more? What made me get out? Was it my stop or did I get out prematurely? You know, and, and that helps me. It helps me identify, it helps me stay in trades a little bit longer now. Okay, because right. yeah. I know, okay, I got the stop. I've already at least made X amount of dollars. So if it turns against me, I'm going to at least make this. But I'm willing to risk a little bit more. Like if I have some house money, like today, I stayed in the trade a Correct. little bit more because I had some, I had already yeah. made $1,200 in six minutes. So I thought, well, I got $1,200 to play with. Let's go, <laughs> you know? And so, 
Yeah. So I was like, this is amazing. But you have to know the terminology. That's just, you have to read the charts. And I'm like, I love that you said you you take a picture of the chart and you I look at it because you always have to be a student of the market. And I have in our library, Victoria and I, I have every single trade I've taken from 2014 on a hard drive. Every single trade. So now if I traded uh Foot Locker earnings in 2014, I could see what it did in 15 and 16 or how it reacted. But a lot of people aren't going to go to depth in order to become a student in the market. And that's why, like what you're saying, it's the story, it's the patience. Once you wait for the setup, you just you go in because the confidence is there. But yeah. so by doing that, what would you say if someone like I, I love the way you said that because even though you when you started and you came in June uh, last year and July, you were focused and this is this is what makes successful traders. You were focused on why you were trading and you wasn't focused about trading your real money yet. You know, like <laughs> that that discipline for you to observe. And not too many people can observe. Like when you start the market, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> the stock market isn't going I anywhere. I traded the market before. I knew nothing about the market. So I yeah. had to find somebody else that did know about the market so I could mimic what they were doing. But I got to look at what you're doing first before I just jump in and think I can, you know. Exactly. You know, because and I've never done that before. So and that's how people get burnt. That's how people get emotionally burnt with trading and investing. It doesn't work for the first month or two because they lost money. Well, then they go. It's January. Well, I didn't start in towards the end of, Jan you know, around the last week or so of January. And February was very difficult for me. It was very difficult. I was very nervous. You know, I had my husband yelling in my ear, telling me <laughs> all this money. And, you know, and I, had people, I had people at my job that were telling me, you're crazy. You're going to do that and lose all your money. And, you know, like everybody was telling me all this negative stuff. And then if I did lose that day, I was like, oh, my God, they're right. And then I just said, you know what? I can learn this. I can learn anything. I've done multiple things in my life and everything I've done over time, I've been successful with it. If I just stuck with it, yep. I, I'm just going to stick with it. And because I just I've, up every day. Like I told you, when, when I had my first started day trading, I was swing trading and stuff like that. I would trade. I would get up 930, get in a trade, lose, and go right back to sleep. I was doing that over and over again. And I'm like, what is my problem? Why can't I get this? Then my trading coach, she was just saying, listen, you're going to, it's, you know what to do. You're just nervous and it's going to go. The hardest thing that, the hard, like even when you was telling me, the hardest thing for me to do was deposit that amount of money, 25, 30,000 into account. Because you're like, I'm putting this much money into account. But now it doesn't even matter because you know what to do. But see, people never last through that phase. They That phase, like you're saying, everybody on the outside, that's why the mentorship program is good. Because even like when I go through stuff emotional, I got to talk to Latoya about something or whatever like that. It's just like, you know the information. It's just sometimes the people around you are not always going to support you. The people who are afraid of the market I'm not going to say the same thing, but if you're around somebody that's comfortable that's doing it, you're like, okay, if they could do it, I could do it. You know, it's not rocket science. It's all systematic. It's not that trading is difficult. It requires discipline and it requires you to educate yourself. Whether, I mean, it's very difficult for you to do it on your own because it's so much noise. Like if you try to listen to what everybody say in every YouTube video and every, it, it's difficult because you have some conflicting information. Like I was like a content collector. I had so much information, but I never <laughs> really knew what to do with any of it. You know, I'm like, I got all this stuff right. here and I still don't know how to trade. And that's what made me sign up. For the I was like, I need somebody to tell me what all this stuff means. You know, if I would have, you know, already been trading, then it would have been a different story. But like I said, I knew nothing about the markets. In 2016 was the first time I even thought about doing anything with the market. 
And the first time I purchased a program and I never opened it and I paid seven thousand dollars for it. <laughs> I never did it with it. Wow. But it was wow. for it. it wasn't equities, it was forex. And I never gotcha. I never did anything with it. But it did pique my interest. And then so the next year, you know, I thought, well, I'll go back to that. I spent all that money on that program. Let me look at that again. So I read through it all again, and then I kept purchasing. I was just collecting all this content, but nothing was really, because people will sell you all these programs, but the programs don't really tie everything in to tell you like when to enter, look for this setup. I mean, they'll tell you, oh, look for a flag pattern. Well, what does that mean, <laughs> you know? Exactly. <laughs> um, so you need to have a mentor. I think that was the best thing for me. Um, and that's what moved me forward. I mean, I was still nervous. It was risking a lot of money. I did have a lot of, I mean, my best friend was telling me, don't do this. And I said, you know what? <laughs> I mean, we've been friends for like 32 years. And she was telling me, Liz, please do not do this. I know so many people that lost their home. They lost their car. I'm like, well, I don't think I'm going to go and pawn everything to do yeah. but I wanna be, I'm gonna take a shot at you know myself. I think I could do this. I've learned multiple things in my career. So why not? And I did Correct. and now I'm consistent and um it's the best thing I've ever done because now I'm teaching my daughter. My son's doing very well with this these kids are better than me because they can see they can anticipate the moves because their eyes move faster with these video games. Like they're on it. Yeah. So now I get to teach my family how to have an ATM in their home, <laughs> basically. Gotcha. And they can learn how to drive. So it's something that you can provide for forever. Like I'll I'll never stop trading. I'll trade until the day I leave this earth. I'm never gonna no, stop. That's no, that's for, good. That's good. For you and Victoria, I do have to say thank you because you gave me a lifetime, you know, this learning is something that I can use for the rest of my life. You know, as long as I can see and press the button, I can trade. You know? Yeah. And I if I get old, I'm gonna get me a 75 inch TV screen and I'm gonna <laughs> just point to it and, and still trade. <laughs> no, I might that's not be what... accurate, but I'm gonna do it. No, that's that and that's that's the whole goal behind the program because we know there's so many programs out there and the the thing is we know we can't do this forever. We know we can't do this forever because we have personal goals, we have our own trading goals we want to do and things of that nature, but we wanted to make sure that people know uh, that there's an opportunity that you can do it and it's not rocket science. And just like you mentioned before, everybody, when they hear the word stock market, they hear trading, they're afraid. But what do we teach as priority? What would you say is one of our most priorities when we teach and give mentorship? Basically, look at the chart, read the chart. Don't just jump in the trade, make sure the setup's there, read the charts, and then you take the trade accordingly. And use and risk management. <laughs> risk management. Make sure risk your stops management. are tight and in place when you place the because, trade. Because if it doesn't work, work out, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Right. Yeah, it's not going to work. If the setup is not there, don't sit. A lot of people say, it seems like you guys always win. You always win. It's not that we always win. We cut the losses fast. Then we wait for the setup. And I think that's the biggest misconception with a lot of people with trading or investing is that they find a good trade or a good investment. And once it goes against them, they are afraid to let go or get out of that trade or investment because they don't know what else to do. Oh, that it's going to come back. You know, like I said, at times I have lost money, but it's not like my whole account. You know, I might lose Correct. a couple hundred dollars because I'm going to just use my stop loss. Oh, it took me out of the trade. I'm done. I can either wait yeah. for another set up and try to re-enter or just say, okay, I'm done for today. You know, it's your choice. No, that's cool. That's great. But you have to preserve your account so you can trade another day. If you blow your whole account up, then, hey, 
You don't have just $25,000 in the backyard. So, nope. you know, that's a lot of money. You have to make that's sure that you're preserving your account. Exactly. And that, with the risk management and using your stop losses appropriately. So, so tell us about some of these options, trades you did. You did Beyond Meat. I How did much did you do on Beyond Meat? 10 grand. <laughs> that was 10, my only five figure trade since I've been in the program. Now um, you bought the puts on that, right? Huh? You did, you did the puts on that? No, I what did a, a call on that. You did a call out on that. Oh, okay. Uh, you me. did the, uh, so which would I, you did calls on Roku? You did that twice. Oh, yeah. Roku, Roku, I've heard three times. In all of my accounts, I had Roku. Roku has been very generous to me this year. <laughs> but give me the time frame, how long oh, for you to make that. that. In my retirement account, I purchased. No, no, no. The options, the, uh, the options oh, you the did options, on Roku. The options I did on Roku. I, I purchased calls and one was in May. You know, May, I think I had calls for, I don't know, $60 or so. And I think it went up to 89, 90 and I sold. Um, so that call was very, very lucrative because I had like, actually I had the shares. I had 600 shares in May. Mm -hmm. Now, Roku, just when they had last earnings, I did the same thing, but I did use calls and I made, no, I did the shares again because I made eight thousand. The but that was in that one week. Also, that was in that was just one. That was like four days, three or four days. I got in for ninety mm -hmm. something. Was it ninety something? It had fallen the week before, eight hundred points. Correct. And I purchased them then, and then I sold them when it went up to what did it go? I think I sold at one thirty or something. Yeah, that wow. was lucrative, and. In, in NVIDIA was the calls that I just did. I did um, NVIDIA calls. That was less than a week, and I made 6K. Um, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I need some to on some of this. Well, it's easy to do the options when earnings is coming. Um, Wait, but the thing is, too, but you're, you're still taking the trades based off of the technical setup, though. Right, but what you do is you wait... Like when the market's falling, if it's, first of all, you got to know, like I said, I do a lot of research on the companies um, mm -hmm. as well. So I make sure they have a strong balance sheet. I'm looking at like beyond me is going to end up going down to probably nothing. But right now it's, you know, you, you follow the money, you know, today I could have traded beyond me. I, I actually traded it in my simulated account and did very well. I would have probably made another 700 bucks if I would have took the trade, but okay. I couldn't watch all this at one time. So I just left it alone. I was like, that, I, I was gotcha. multiple trades this morning at the same time. So I thought I'm not going to try Beyond Meat or Roku because they're very jumpy and, you know, they'll get out of sight before. Yeah, and then yeah, the spread, yeah, they, they'll whip, they'll, yeah. yeah they, they'll spread is crazy. So I just didn't bother <laughs> with them today. I wanted to get in and out of the market pretty quickly. Um, I had a meeting at one o'clock, so I wanted to be done. Um, but the options, like you don't need necessarily a lot of money to trade options, but you do have to wait. When you see it pulls back, this is what I do. I wait for my pullback. I make sure it's a strong, like I don't do options on just anything. I only do options on, on you know, strong. And I do it like on Apple. Um, I do Apple, Roku, Beyond Me. Um, was, I love AMD. Um, for a while, I was trading AMD every single day. I haven't traded it. I did trade it today as well. Like I have about 25 stocks that I look at their charts every morning, every night, every morning. And I look for what position they're in to see, okay, is this stock oversold? Has it been selling off or has it been overbought? And I, and I do that every day. Like I literally study my charts on about 25, 30 stocks every day. And then in the morning, you know, I look at the- shoot. Every day, right? Every, every day, day, right? <laughs> this is every like day. If you're making six grand a week on average, you're going to look every day. Every day. <laughs> and that's so what you do that every like day. For hours, it takes me like, Two or three minutes to analyze the chart. I'm just kind of looking. And, and you know, that's what we tell the students. Every every like 
we I get up every morning at six o'clock. I'm already, you know, I do my little exercise thing, but I'm looking at the markets. We prepare every morning. It's just like a, it's a, not like a job, but this is your profession. You have to prepare. At nighttime, you have to prepare. And the more you prepare, it's just like a student. You're studying, you're studying. And when that bell rings, that's it. You go into class. But I'm glad you said that. Point that you don't have to do it as often, but I'm not there yet. So I still have to analyze my charts every day. No, we do it every morning. Yeah, we do it every morning. We analyze, we check our levels because you're dealing with big money now. Like, Right. In the next couple of months, you're going to be going up more share size. And more, so you have to be pinpoint accurate when you're going in with like two, 3,000 shares. You got to make sure that you, you catch in the right direction. So it's never going to stop. And that's the beauty behind it because the success that you're seeing is going to make you want to be even better and even better. You know what I mean? No matter what, because that's the purpose of being a student of the market, you you see this success. I think if more people would just invest in themselves, and even if they don't start with day trading, if they just start with swing trading or start day trading the options a couple of days a week, because if you don't have the, you don't meet the FINRA rule or whatever, the 25K, mm -hmm. you can only do three entries per week. But with the options, I mean, before I was just trading options and I did very well with options. But day trade, but I wasn't making a grand or two grand a day, which I can do <laughs> equities. So yeah, equities, exactly. Like, and right now I'm on a mission. I got a couple of projects that I'm working on. So this right here is actually funding that for me. So that's why I've decided to talking I mean, about. I only do I only do options on a few. It's only about seven stocks that I trade options on, and I know those stocks sure. very well. And I do those, and I just do them repeatedly. You know, when their earnings are coming, I'm looking for my setups and I place my trades. Yeah. So I don't even want to keep you that long. I just wanted to say, like, it's amazing because <clears throat> it's almost like, like when we look at people like you, you said you didn't know anything about the stock market in 2016. No. No. And now you're making eight, nine thousand dollar trades, six thousand dollars this week. And that's what like I post a lot of videos, Latoya posts a lot of videos, and this is what we try to do. Our goal is to make people independent professional traders. So Elizabeth doesn't even need us anymore, even though she still trades with us every single day in the room. She's able to create this generational wealth. She's teaching her daughter, her son. She's proven everybody <laughs> who was like naysayers, yeah. but that can motivate other people. And the thing is, it's not rocket science. It's yeah, not it's rocket not science. Oh, it just requires discipline and risk management and to study the charts. Like if you look at it, because after a while, you see the same patterns over and over and over. Oh, and, oh. and this, that's what people don't realize. Right. So when you see it all the time, it's easy to know which trades to take. And if they don't look out, you got your stop in place. You know? So so ideally, how much time you think a day would a newbie spend? Well, a decent amount of time just to study? Like in the morning, I, I don't get up at six o'clock and study no charts. I'm gonna be honest. I get up at yeah. seven fifteen, seven thirty. I I walk around the block twice. I'm usually back in the house about eight. 815 at the latest, I start looking mm -hmm. at my charts and figure out what I'm going to trade that day. Your room usually open at 845. I compare and see what you guys are trading according to whatever I looked up that I was going to trade because I don't always trade mm -hmm. what you trade. And correct. So, and I said, okay, well, all right, I got this. And then after, you know, at 11 o'clock, I'm usually done around 10, 30, 11. I mean, you guys trying to trade up to 12 sometimes, but I haven't been because once I meet my daily goal, I'm out. I'm not going to keep trading. That's it. So I That's usually risk stop. management. Yeah, I usually stop and I listen to you or whatever while I'm doing something else, but I'm not in the market. And then in the afternoon, probably around five or six, I do my screenshots and I go over those trades. And then I look at my charts of my 20 to 30 charts that I look at every day. 
I go and I review them just to see what they did that day, if it's something I'm interested in for the next day or not. Yeah. Then that's it. Simple. But even doing even doing your process. It might take you 20, 20, 30 minutes in the afternoon just to look at your your charts for the day that you trade it. Mm. Because basically what I'm doing is I'm writing down the name of the chart. Was I feeling okay that morning? It's kind of a journal for me. If I was feeling mm -hmm. okay, um, how was my nerves that day? Because like I said, at first I was very nervous. So it was kind of a journal for me, just so I can look back later and say, well, look how you were then and look where you are now. So it, it builds yeah. confidence for me. And mm -hmm. I just put, okay, this was my entry. This was my exit. Could I have held on to this a little bit longer? Why did I get out? And I just write down why I got out. You know, I don't make it about the money because right now I'm still in the learning stage. So it's still helping me to build my confidence, helping me to identify the patterns, making sure that I'm entering at the right time, exiting at the right time. And sometimes I should be holding the, the stocks a little bit longer. I can make more money. Yep. But if there's a candle that pops up that makes me think I need to get out, I get out. Like if I keep seeing four tails in a row, I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, gotcha, yeah. I don't have to get to four. I, I see three, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm gonna get out of the trade yeah. and just make my profits. You know, and it may still break on down, but I don't know that. And there's no way for you yeah. to know. And it's never Correct. wrong to take profits. <laughs> exactly. And that's I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that too, because even when I started, I worked a lot of hours at my job and career and I loved it. But all I did was every night <clears throat> I studied the charts. I studied homework. I <clears throat> took it to another level and I was almost looking at 200 charts a night because oh. I was trying to learn the candles. <clears throat> I was trying to learn the patterns. I was just like in it. But you're right. Like I like what you just said. You weren't focusing on the money. You just focusing on trying to understand how to do it. And I think that's where the emotions come in. Because if you can't control those emotions, you can't trade the plan. You can't trade the setup. And because right. that'll take you out. Because once you're in the trade, it's like, oh, what should I do? Uh, should I take the money? Should I go? And things like that. But that that's the beauty behind it, just being right. a student of the market. And, and it's good because even though you just started and learned in 2016, you had the learn trading, learn about the market. And I remember we had sessions. You had to learn how to use the platform. Oh, yeah. You learn how to enter a trade. You had to learn how to exit a trade. And the <laughs> thing is, it's possible. That's what I'm saying. It's possible. So even the fact that you get to the point where you understand everything, you still got to learn the technology. You got to learn how to enter a trade. I had you to exit the, trade. the platform. Um, to, exactly. I was trade. So I didn't even know Think and Swim or whatever. I didn't know Think and Swim platform. I had a TD Ameritrade. I had a, the account, but I never did anything with the charts it's because exactly. I wasn't using technical analysis. Mm -hmm. You know, I was using a lot of fundamentals to do um, options. To be honest, oh, that's cool. No, I just I thought that's listen. even more research. This is so much easier just to look at. The <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, I i come to you for my fundamentals you know i text you I'm like oh what's this about i come to you like i'm like i don't really like but it does help i know it does help but i'm just so used to looking at the chart that i was purchasing was telling me to learn the fundamentals of the company and this and that and read the 10ks and look at the i was like oh my god that's what took me so long you know, because I was trying to study every little bit about the company and which companies I want. And, and then Trump started tweeting and that didn't matter anymore. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so, that didn't matter at all. So I had I'm like, I need to get a mentor because this is not working. So really, I think the bottom line is risk management, understanding the candles, looking for the proper setups and knowing when to get out. You know, and not right. focusing on the money at first, but just trying to stay calm enough to be able to handle the trade and have discipline to know, okay, don't try to hold it forever. And then it goes back, you know, make sure your stocks are in place. And then you don't have to worry. You won't blow up your account. You know? and, that, and that's the thing. Like, I, I can't stress it enough. Like, 
everybody wants to like, like you told me in the beginning when you first started yeah i plan on retiring in two years i want to do this i want to do that and i was like all right i understand like i got it and <laughs> the thing is you never talked about money you never talked about money and i find that even when i learned or whatever when you focus on how much money can i make how long is it going to take me to make this amount of money if i put this much money into it what can i get back you are already starting off in the wrong path with most people. Right. And I'm just being straight up. You are like, and that's why we do simulation and that's why we do tests. Because when people start too early, they never rise. Right. And I don't mean to pick on certain things people do because some people start and they they have these small profits with a great and they but they never get a chance to build that confidence in order to get a big payday. You know, they, they start off and they do this and, you know, all right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop studying and just keep trading like these options for these small percentages or these small wins you know, to pay their cell phone bill or lunch. We trying to pay our mortgage and college <laughs> education. You trying to buy a car. And that's what we teach people to do. I'm not trying to have you pay no cell phone bill. We want you to change your life and buy a house. But you got to stick to the program and focus on that. And this is definitely possible. They'll get it. Just just take the money concept yeah. out and learn the skill. Like this is a skill just like anything else. I mean, mm -hmm. at first I was a CNA. Then I went to nursing school. Then I went to nurse practitioner school. Then I went to get my doctorate. I mean, it took me years, years to accomplish all those things. So how are you going? So I expect it to take me a couple of years to learn how to trade successfully. Actually, and then I thought if I get a mentor, maybe I can cut that time in half. So that's why I decided to get- You did, life. you did really. cut it in half. You you did That's cut it in half. Program. I wanted somebody to show me one-on-one, -on -one, how do I do this? Like, I have all this terminology. I have all these books. I have all these different programs, and I still don't know all the different ways to actually trade. So that's why I joined the program. And you yep. guys gave the information up, and then you can trade anything. I'm going to be trading futures next month. I've been trading every day. <laughs> 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 I got you. I got uh huh. I said I'm gonna start doing futures because the chart there is you go. Chart. So it, it, exactly, exactly, exactly. It doesn't matter what market. And I, I'm glad that you. Yeah, and, I'm gonna and that's it. Longer, and we'll see. And that's the whole purpose about and and that's what I'm glad you're able to do that because once you feel comfortable, you can always advance to the next thing and advance to the next thing and just and just keep moving and the fact that you know you you're making no and that's that's the biggest thing i think with any trader like even though latoya and i like you're in a room latoya will see a setup that maybe i don't see or you'll bring up a, a stock or somebody else bring up a stock that we didn't see like oh that looks good because you're able to make a decision on your own. Right. You're able to see it for yourself. And that's the biggest thing. And I think, you know, sometimes with handicaps, traders, even in the beginning, like social media and stuff like that, I always figure like you have to ask somebody's opinion about a trade or an investment. You shouldn't even be in it because you didn't even know why you were in it. And the fact that, like you said, this week, you always message on the back end. Oh, I traded this. I traded that. But even though the room was closed and you made that a much amount of money. Every day. Just I, I there, didn't yeah. trade on Monday, but every day I was positive. And I made mistakes. I mean, I probably gave up yeah. well over a thousand dollars just by pressing the wrong button because I still do that. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm yeah, selling exactly. and I'm buying <laughs> or I put yeah, it to exactly. And, you know, so I still make mistakes. So it's still a matter of you know, it's a skill set and it's going to take time. But yeah. now I know that I'm oh, yeah. able to identify the setups and I can make money. And when I have house money, I'm able, once I meet my goal, though, I'm usually done. I'm like, good. okay, I've That's made good. this amount of dollars for the day. I'm done. I can meet my monthly goal. Sometimes I can do swing trades and I make my goal by the second day of the month. So then, you know, I may trade every day and I may not. Yeah. 
And what, what tell tell everybody what trip did you go on to from your uh, your option street? Where'd you go? Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, and that's what makes it real. When you can take that money out and you know that the trade in funded your Hawaii trip. Yeah. I mean, now, I mean, August for me has been a very difficult, I've done a lot of traveling this month, but I mean, mm -hmm. I go on a lot of vacations, but this has really been able to provide me the freedom of being able to, like now, I don't even worry about, I just tell the people that I work from, like, listen, I have to do this, this, and this, Yeah. and guess what? Their attitude towards me is different because they know I don't have to come there anymore. Mm. The doctors that I Dad. work with, now, they're like, Dad. you know, because I'm like, you know, guess what? I can That's make just talking about two hours that I can do working mm -hmm. at the hospital. So exactly, exactly. You tell them that. That's how it is. They treat you differently when they know. Yeah, that because they know you don't need them. You, they know you don't need them. They know you don't need them. That's and power they, in this stuff. I get highly respected. They're like, oh, if you're going to be on vacation, that's fine. We'll get somebody else to cover. If I was a full-time employee, they would be telling me, oh, no, you can't be off. We don't have coverage. We don't have this. You got to do that. I just say, I'm not doing that, you know? Yeah. And I don't yeah. worry about it anymore. But it's a skill set. And I think if people would invest in themselves, they'll realize that it will give them, uh, like, I don't even have you know, I was just telling one of my friends today, I don't even have a bank account anymore. I put all my money in my brokerage account. Every dime that I make, I send it straight there. Because <laughs> I'm like, I need to be in the market. If something happens, I need to have that money there. I don't need to be trying to transfer this in and do this. And you know, I want to be. You need to be locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded, ready to go. You know, I, I, I've already funded my IRA for the year. I can't give them any more money. So I'm like, I need to open up somebody else's account. We need to get this money. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But, but seriously, and it gets to be a, a challenge. And once you know that you can do it, it gives you so much joy that you don't really have to rely on a nine to five anymore or you don't have to get like mm -hmm. if I don't feel like doing anything I get up I trade and I go back to bed or I go walk in I go whatever I want to do for the rest of the day you know so I may not the whole, work for two more years <laughs> we'll see <laughs> exactly and that's the whole thing get too. fired before then <laughs> <laughs> no nah, don't get <laughs> don't get fired my my I like that when you're saying, and you keep telling you about investing yourself because the whole goal, even when we always talk about Latoya and I, is just that you have your own dreams. You have your own goals, whatever it is. And it's so many people out here with so many products and services, and I'm not against what they do, but it gets to the point where, what, what about you? When you log off of Facebook, when you log off of somewhere, what what do you want to do? You know what I mean? Like a long time ago, I don't want to be sitting in the bleachers or on the bench. I want to be in the I want to be in the game. And like you said, they look at you differently because they, they know you have you have the right to say no because you make money. Right. You you make money. Like I, I don't I have the right to choose what I invest in and what not I invest in because I know what I can do for myself and I can do for my community, my people, my family. And it gives you more self-worth, you know? So you have more respect right. for yourself. And I'm not I'm not arrogant by any chance, but No, I, no, no. It's not arrogance, it's confidence. You know, when I told them, listen, in January, I can't come to work early in the morning at 7.30. They're like, oh, the discharges have to be done by 11. I'm like, well, somebody else is going to have to do it because my New Year's resolution is to trade every day. So I have to be at that computer at 9.30 and not somewhere else. And they were like, really? I was like, really? So if we can't make that agreement that I can come in later, then I, I can't work here anymore. And I was willing to let it go to develop this skill. 
You know, mm -hmm. I told my husband, this is something that I need to do, not only for myself, but for our family, for us to move forward so we don't have to depend on anybody else. Who knows is Social Security going to be here? You know, whenever we do decide to retire or get old, and I don't even know what age you need to be at this point. They keep changing it. Who knows if they're going to even have any money? So you need to know that you are able to create an income for yourself on a daily basis. Like my son's not even using a $25,000 account. He's swing trading and, and every, he's making, you know, six to $700 a week, just swing trading. Wow. You know? So, and, and it's just really called volatility trading, buying the stock, waiting and setting it up to sell when it go up a dollar and 20 cents or a dollar, you know, look at the beta of the stock. Is this a stock that moves, you know, and, that's all you have to do. It's really not that difficult. But I, it's not that difficult, but we are so distracted. I think we're so distracted with other things that take us away. I, that's why I tell people, once you start, be committed. Like, even when oh, yeah. Toya and I talk, I don't watch TV. I don't know what's going on TV. I know I, I watch, just watch CNBC. I didn't even know the storm was coming, okay? <laughs> exactly. And that's the thing. I haven't watched TV probably in like five years, literally. Anything that's on the screen, it has to do with chart or something with OPEC or yeah, something. And that's it. And my Alexa yeah, tells me all it. the updates. And that's it. And that's what that's what it that's what it comes to. It's not like it's a crazy lifestyle. It's just like your time is more focused okay. on all right. How I'm gonna find this maximum trade or the biggest short? How I'm gonna get this right or whatever? And it becomes so systematic, right? It just becomes so systematic. Like, that's the same thing. Like, you got your schedule every single day. Boom, 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 boom. And you I mean, it's just like some... whatever you have to do at work. I mean, you you get a list. You have to review that list. For me, I have to review the list, review the patient's chart, find out what they're there for, go in, assess the patient, put in whatever my interventions are going to be. And then eventually, hopefully, the patient will be discharged home at some point, you know, when they're feeling better. And it's the same thing with the charts. You get up, you analyze the charts, you put in your entries, you, you get your X's at some point, whether you win or lose, and you're done. You start over, wash and rinse and repeat. It's the same concept. That, that's, that's, that's it. <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's amazing. So I just want to say thank you. We're extremely proud of what you're doing. Um, and it, the thing is, like I said, it makes us feel good too because we get a sense of self-worth because even wh whatever course somebody takes, they end up in 10 to 15, 20 times what they spend. And even when you look at it, like even Latoya and I, when we have to Multiple times over. <laughs> <laughs> exactly over i mean this week i've made my money back <laughs> okay it's, so, it's exactly it's so exactly that's I, and that's, I, that's I the whole point i can't yeah, and i always you gotta use your income tax check use that money which is you know you get one lump sum once a year use that and invest in yourself and change your life yeah that's what you have to do because once you get the information, you might have to wait to the next year to get another income tax check, and then you can open up your account. You know, do whatever you need to do to get to the point that you can actually invest and not in your 401k because you don't have any control over it. Like I didn't even realize I didn't have control over my. You know, I call them up and oh, tell yeah. them what I want. I want Amazon, and I want, and they were like, um, "Excuse me." <laughs> <laughs> you can't have any of those things <laughs> and I was like why not it's my money you know and I was really offended because I thought I could trade my own money and I couldn't so mm. I was like I'm done with that so I quit that job and got a different job just so I could have access to my funds you yeah, know I can see. my whole life savings control your finances. and you don't know what you don't know but when you know better you do better Oh, yeah, it is exactly. And I think that the fact that, like you mentioned earlier, and we're not going to go too deep in it, the fact that it's eye-opening to almost every student when you can make money when the stock market goes down. That's the biggest thing. And, once it, <laughs> yeah. and even, even though people don't like that, 
we, we always say it's two sides to every market. There's a buyer and a seller. But when you learn that aspect, it just opens up a whole new world of All trading and made, investing. I made when the market was going down. I was, and it was a bullish day. And I still, everything, everything I traded, I made money going down. Mm, see? So you got that, so you got that eye. Faster. It falls faster. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's fear. It's fear. Fear triggers stops. Stops trigger more selling, more stops, more stops. Everybody, and you just there catching the money like, oh, oh, catching oh, it like yeah. that. <laughs> that's it. But once you get, but, and, 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 that, and that's one of our biggest, con, um, my biggest concepts to a lot of people in, that it really hurts me with the 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 dollar cost average, which can be good, which can be good, but I always get that, and that's why I try to even educate the community. Like when people say when the stocks drop, they're excited because they get to buy, right? But when the stocks go high, they get excited because it's going high. But why do you get no, no. <laughs> it doesn't make sense? It doesn't make sense to me. Like so you're not selling, right? But you can't high. wait to drop to buy when it's like dropping and you lose it. Like, but where where is that ground? And for some people to get not even like get that concept of you're so programmed into buying when something is falling and not saying it's not good, it could financially hurt you and hurt you and hurt you. We're trying to get paid today. <laughs> It could keep going down. It could right. keep going down. Like Ultra today. Like Look at when, uh, when that dropped. Ultra uh, yeah, was one of the ones that I shorted today. <laughs> exactly. That dropped a hundred dollars today or something. Marvel. Um, that was my biggie today. I think I got twelve hundred dollars off of Marvel. Marvel, uh Marvel had earnings. Marvel had earnings today. Okay down significantly so i did marvel i did amazon but i didn't stay in it but a couple of minutes snap today was a mistake i didn't even realize i took that trade <laughs> yeah that's um, very steady. yeah I, I hit what i was trying to close out and talking to somebody that's why i say you have to stay focused because when you're trying to talk <laughs> things because these things execute so fast you know oh, yeah yeah yeah, they, you know, I was able to just, I, I think I made 22 cents, <laughs> but I just closed, I just flattened right out of it because that was not my intention to even trade. And then what mm -hmm. was the other one? Um, Campbell did very well, but it was a long, but I didn't take that one. I was thinking about it, but I was already okay. in three days. So I was like, this is enough. I can't handle anything else. Good. So just but, but, what you can and can't do, being disciplined. Uh, now I got to the point where I have to take my phone and actually put it in another room when I'm trading because I used to be trying to answer the phone and do all. So now I just put that away and I don't even worry about it. I'm like, call me after 1130, you know. Exactly. Before no, then, I'm I'm not, from 930 to 1130, everybody yeah. know I'm trading because you can't do multiple things at one time. You have to stay focused. You know. No, you gotta say oh, your program really has been a blessing to me and to my family, and it's gonna allow me to, to retire on my own terms and even work the next two years on my own terms if I continue. <laughs> no, that's good. Save save me a bedroom down there too in Florida because <laughs> I, I need to I need to come down there because I mean yes yes listen, I could chill with you and your son and everybody there. That'd be cool. Yeah, but I no, mean, I'm glad it's beautiful here. Well, right I'm now, like I said, but we'll see. Yeah, let me know about them uh, properties too. But yeah. But anyway, with all of that going on, I'm just saying I want to wrap it up because it's been a, a great time. I'm I'm glad we was able to do this because we was trying to meet up. I mean, so many times, but um, we're we're glad that you really thought about investing in us. You know, because when we present information everybody it may not fit everybody in everything especially in this demographic i know as a trader in being in this business even as a man everybody loves latoya everybody loves latoya so <laughs> i'm like second it's like we almost have to be brilliant 
to be in this type of business because of either the scams that's going on or individuals who aren't as truthful or things of that nature. And that's why we created the videos and doing a lot of stuff like, hey, this is possible. And it's not that we have anything to prove. We do a lot of the videos for ourselves to make me make sure I'm consistent. Like the toy, we got to make sure we are consistent because there's a lot of people that come and there's a lot of people that go, you know, but even in this field and being even the traders we are and from the background that we have, we almost nearly have to be excellent or brilliant in this field for anybody to look at us. Numbers are great. I mean, you're profitable every day, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, but, that's, but, but we have to be like that. And that's the thing. It's like in, in, on a back end, we're always mastering the craft. That's why you see how your results. And that's when we put together the course. We's like, what can it be so it can be strategic that anybody from any social economic background can pick it up and really understand how to do it? As long as they take ownership of themselves. They, they got it. And they has to study. That's it. You I have the songs. Videos probably fifteen times. I watched them. Then I wrote it down. Then I made index cards. I went through the index cards when I'm just like sitting around or doing nothing or I'm at the red light. I posted a whole patterns on my bathroom window. You know, I have a patterns chart in my car. So and I get up. And one thing that I do do that I learned this from someone else that is a trader to get up every morning and draw 50 M's and 50 N's. So I'll look for those patterns. But that's oh, there you go. That's kind of psychedelic. M's and, N's. and then you'll start seeing it, you know, especially yeah. when you go out to the monthlies or you go out to the weeklies, you'll start seeing the patterns and you'll know where certain things are, you know, where your resistance and your support is. So it really helps. No, that's cool, man. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm proud that you're able to do it. I know when people look at trading and investing, it can be very, very intimidating. But as long as you put in the work, and there's nothing to rush. The market's, the market's been over here, been here over like 200 years. years. <laughs> what, yeah, it's not going, it's, yeah, it's not going anywhere. So even if you start the journey, don't focus on the money. Focus on the mastery and the education. And the, money the money's going to come so if you trade in one contract a thousand contracts one share a thousand shares it's the same exact thing the only thing that's different those people that's trading them one contracts or the one shares they don't they never develop the confidence to, to give up right. to keep going and they stuck there so thank All you right. so much. have an amazing night i All appreciate right. that uh, i know latoya is probably she should be back from her little whole month vacation somewhere but she, she checked in a couple of times but no we just appreciate uh you being a part of the team and it's more enlightened too because i know we're going to start back up soon on um we do the weekly swing trades i think in another week or so. well, did y'all get campbell i saw my campbell today it went up yeah. to 48 campbell soup yeah we still holding campbell campbell still no, I saw mine. <laughs> you sold it already i sold, oh. I sold it this for 4870 or 48 something. Oh man. I gotta check then. I started I, at 41 or 42. So I mean it went up six bucks. I mean, how are you gonna keep holding it? <laughs> Listen, I'm like you now. I went eight, nine dollars. I'm not waiting. <laughs> dollars ain't enough. I, I kind of I don't know what's gonna happen with this September first. So I kind of got out of everything. I'm sitting in cash uh -huh. right now in my in my biggest account because I don't know okay. what's gonna happen. The September 1st thing. So I'm like, I'm selling everything. Only thing I did held, I held Microsoft. I got a leap option on Microsoft. Um, okay. But January of 2020. So I can, I got time. I'm holding that. That's the only thing I'm holding right now. So that's everything cool. else I got out. <laughs> so for everybody that lets you know, our day trading for profit students and our mastermind students, we trade with them as well live. And also those who do our courses, like we meet every Sunday at 8.30 and we just have the same conversation like you see us having here. We go over what we're going to trade for the week, market news and things of that nature. And that's the whole purpose of keeping everybody accountable. You know, we 
look at that stocks helps. together. Your analysis of the market, because you guys have seen multiple markets. Like yeah. this is really my first, this is my second time really doing earnings. Um, like the earnings for the entire, so now I can remember what the last earnings were because I still have those charts because I print every chart that I trade. So now I have an right. idea. Of what did it do last time? Just like you're saying, just make a journal, just you know, make a journal. and look at it and it really helps. It builds your confidence. Yeah. And that's the whole, that's why we do the Sunday um, group study session because once you finish a course and it's like you're by yourself, but you want somebody else to co-sign where you think the market is going, like a lot even the European news and things like that. And some people bring up information I didn't, even, uh, didn't find out or you, somebody else brings something like, wow, I didn't know this was going on. And it keeps you, you know, eager to stay into the market. You know, you don't want to come to a, a Sunday study session and not bring a trade for nobody to look at. So now you just munching like. <laughs> now, like everybody's bringing a little bit of something, like a little potluck type everybody thing, and because you everybody can't does. catch the whole market. Yeah, you can't. You can't catch every trade. You can't catch every trade. But at least you have the opportunity to see what could possibly be good. So that'll okay. be good. All right. So thank you so much again, Elizabeth, one of our All mastermind right. students, and you have a great amazing night and hopefully the storm doesn't hit you like that and wow. um we'll Looks talk like to it. you soon all right Amen? i'll talk to you later have a good night all right you too Bye -bye. Bye -bye.